What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at some tire shine options. So there's already 50 million out there and now they've introduced ceramic tire shine. So this is usually what I go with, the Meguiar's Ultimate Insane Shine. We're going to put that on one of the tires. And then I saw this at Costco. It's a three pack. It's called Untouchable. It was only $11.99 for, for the three pack. And we're going to see if this is actually is untouchable. And then you've got your Meguiar's Ceramic Tire Shine. This is the one I'm most intrigued by. It says it lasts longer and it's got a little bit better of a shine, but this stuff is 15 bucks a bottle. So that's why I really want to test it out because it's, if you're making that purchase all the time, that's kind of expensive for Tire Shine as much as we go through it. So let me get these sprayed on a couple of different tires and we'll see which one does the best. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Meguiar's tire shine. I'm gonna spray this back tire. So now I'm at the front tire. We're gonna try the untouchable. So now, lastly, I'm going to try the ceramic tire shine. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on both these tires front and back. So here's my initial thoughts. The back tire, which has the Meguiar's regular tire shine, actually looks really good. That's why I usually use it. It hasn't dried fully yet. And then up front, the untouchable is definitely not untouchable because it is not that shiny at all, really. It is still drying, but it does give a little shine, but it's definitely not near as much as that Meguiar's. Now over to the other side, this stuff is big time still drying. It's still got like a white coat to it. And I don't know how long that's gonna take to dry. We'll have to wait. And then the front is exactly the same. It's still got like a white film to it. And I'm waiting for that to dry. And, but right now I'm still kind of liking my regular old tire shine. So we'll uh, let that dry and see how it turns out. Okay, so this stuff is pretty much dried up. So right now, initially, the tire shine I use is looking the brightest and shiniest. Now this Untouchables up here, this stuff, there's a little bit of a shine to it, but it is nothing in comparison to that Meguiar's. So let's go ahead and go to the other side and check on the ceramic. All right, so here is the Meguiar's ceramic tire shine. It's definitely not as shiny as the regular. And then here's the front tire as well. Definitely not the shiniest, but I'm gonna give it a few days and see if this stuff actually lasts longer than the others. So we'll be back in a few days. All right, so I've been riding around for about five days with these different tire shines. So here's the untouchable, and it really wasn't much there to begin with anyways, but there's not a lot of shine there now. And then we go back to this Meguiar's Ultimate insane i'm definitely still seeing some tire shine on that definitely still has some shine so that's good all right let's check this side out the ceramic tire shine there may be just a little bit there it's definitely not as much as the other mcguire's tire shine let's check the back this also has the ceramic on it and there's still i'm not seeing a whole lot there so let me get some water together and We'll splash some on there and see which one's more water repellent. I've got the same amount of water in each of these cups. We're gonna see which tire is more rain repellent now. Let's move on to the Meguiar's high tire shine. And now finally, we're gonna do the ceramic tire. I want to give y'all a closer look at these tire shines. So I've coated these rubber pieces that I did not use in my Rocklight kit. So I've coated each piece with the tire shine 
and I'm going to dip them in water. All right, let's get up to these. The ceramic tire shine does not seem to be beating water at all. The insane Meguiar's seems to be beating pretty well. And the untouchable, that's actually beating decent as well. So it's kind of between these two guys, but it definitely looks like the Meguiar's ultimate insane shine is definitely doing a better job. So I don't think that this uh, ceramic tire shine is adding up to what it cost. All right guys, well I'm finished up here. I think I'm definitely going to stick with the Meguiar's Ultimate Tire Shine. I get the shine and the protection I need from this. And then the Meguiar's had a little bit more shine than the Untouchable, but as far as water beating, I didn't think it did very well. And for the price, I'm not going to this. Now, as far as this one, it's, it's definitely the cheaper end of the spectrum. I, for a three pack, $11.99, that's not too bad. It did bead water pretty well, but as far as the shine, there's not a lot there. So I feel like I get the best of both worlds with this, and this is right in the middle as far as pricing. So I hope this video helped y'all out, and make sure you hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so. Until next time, see y'all.